to take you through a little tour of approved document B. So that's volume one, um, which is dwelling houses, if anybody knows what a dwelling house is, uh, if we could lighten me. A volume two, oh, so anything other than a dwelling house, and a tiny little bit of, uh, about rock panel um, at the end. So, dwelling house, volume one. There's five sections to um, volume one. Uh, B4 is the section we look at for the external uh, fire spread requirement. The external walls of the building shall adequately resist the spread of fire over the walls and from one building to another, having regard to the height, use and position of the building. Paragraph 8.4 becomes more specific, so page 41. The external surfaces of walls within 1,000 millimetres of the relevant boundary should meet Class O, National Class, or Class B, S3, D2, or, uh, or better. So it, we, we wouldn't be wrong thinking that this might be the volume to go to in terms of if we're looking at a reclad of a, of a tower block properly, because it's, it's, there's dwellings in it. Um, questions from this is, what's Class O? Chris and Martin have already uh, covered that. And also, what's this class, this Euro Class B, S3, uh, D2? If we go to, uh, to Class O, we have to jump to page 63. Bearing in mind, this is an 84-page document. So. It's Class O, any non-combustible material or material of limited combustibility. doesn't really quite explain it. We need to go deeper into the document. Page 62, so this is before page 63, obviously, where we know what class O is now, explains what non-combustible is, and it's any material classified as A1. Page 57, going back further again, explains limited combustibility is classified as A2, S3, D2, or better. Does anybody know why we've got the Euro class, the Euro classes at all? No? Ones that Martin, uh, the reason was it's for, it was to make it trading easier within the EU. So I think it's going to be interesting now with Brexit actually what happens with all of that. But that was the reason that the Euro classifications were, were actually brought in. So just remember this bit at, at here. We've got two options now with dwelling houses. You can either have Euro class A2, S3, D2, which is limited combustibility, or you can have the next one down, which is uh, Euro class B, S3, uh, D2. Within that document, there was actually two notes uh, that refer to the, uh, the 18 metre rule. Um, both notes, page 6 and page 51, actually send you over to uh, volume 2 to get a little bit more information. The sting in the tail with, within this particular volume is right at the back in the definitions. So Appendix E, definitions, dwelling houses, does not include a flat nor a building containing a flat. So if you just remember previous slide, what the minimum was, it's a Euro class B, S3, D2, that's what you can have on a dwelling house. <clears throat> so we go to volume two, we're going to find out what we need to do for, uh, for flats. Uh, very quickly, page seven, where very large, over 18 metre in height or unusual dwelling houses are proposed, some of the gardens in volume two may we need to supplement that given by volume one. Well, they've just sent us over to volume two, and now they're sending us back to volume one. The requirement, this is the big one. External walls, and this is paragraph 12.4, 12.5, external walls should either meet the guidance given in paragraphs 12.6 to 12.9 or meet the performance criteria given in the BRE report, fire performance of an external thermal insulation for walls and multi-storey BRE and thrive for cladding systems using full-scale full test data from BS8414. So 12.6. The external surfaces of walls should meet the provisions in diagram 40. So, we either go to diagram 40 or you have your BS8414 test. <coughs> and this is diagram 40. So, this is some sheets in the wrong way. Uh, top left building, so we've got a building less than 18 metres, but if it's got a boundary of less than one metre, that cladding has got to be Euro class B, that's in the key, you have to believe me on this one, but it's in the key further down the page. Has to be a minimum of Euro class B, S3, D2. If you've got any other um, building that's um, other than C, um, so that's an assembly hall or recreation building, something like a hospital or, or a hotel, 
The white legend, there's no provision in respect to the boundaries educated, so you can put anything onto a hospital or a hotel that's less than 18 metres. Anything. We travel down a little bit. Building over 18 metres um, with a boundary of less than 1,000 millimetres or a metre, you only have to use Euroclass B, S3, D2 or better. If you've got a, the boundary bigger than a metre, this diagram kind of, you think, OK, up to 18 metres I can use Euroclass C, sorry, that little bit there, Euroclass C, S3, D2, up to 80 metres, and then above that, I can use your class B. It's not the case. There's another note. It's in the BCA technical note that Martin mentioned, technical note 18. That entire facade needs to be your class B, S3, D2. So this is, this is some of the confusion that we're seeing. <clears throat> We've been here before with the confusion around building regulations. Follow, following Lacanal House in 2009, the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government in 2019 asked for a review for the current approved document B. In 2017, the DCLG commissioned the MBS research to undertake user research into the usability of approved document B, and a report was published in April 2017. The conclusions were, professionals, you, professional users find the two volumes too complex. Users want clear diagrams and pictures in simpler language, and users are unsure of the current two volume split. end on a happier note though, so a more positive note. So, rock panel with a smiley face. Um, that rock, the actual board is actually 93% basalt rock. Our standard boards, Euroclass uh, O if you like in terms of surface spread of flame, um, but the, the boards are actually either Euroclass as a standard B, S1, D2, S, uh, S1 S, or stroke S2, D0, so we have no smoke emission, there's no toxins and there's no burning droplets. That's our standard board and that is higher than what the minimum building regulations ask for at the minute. So just remembering on a, on a two-storey dwelling, you have to have B, S, 3, D, 2. We're higher than that. On a hotel, 17.8 metres high, you can have anything you like. FS Extra Gade, that's our 9 mil board. Um, that, whilst it's not needed in England at the minute, it's needed in buildings over 18 metres in Scotland. It's needed um, as standard in Germany. We have that board. A2, S1, D0. If you look in your bags, you've got a little sample of um, rock panel in there. Recently, in a lot of CPDs we've been doing, I've had people, whilst passing samples around, looking at the lovely finishes, people sat there with lighters, actually trying to light a piece of rock panel. You've got a little Christmas tree, which has been probably uh, CNC'd uh, by a distributor of ours. So, um, I'd like to say, if you, well, no, I don't want to say burn it, but if you feel the need to actually want to go home and put it on a fire, then please do. Colleague um, at the back, he's actually got a hole in his chimney. He's actually blocked it up with um, rock panels. So, if you want to be mean to mean to it, you can be. But that's just a little bit of proof how how well the product um, actually works. So that's that's basically it. So it's just literally just to I think highlight where the confusion is within approved document B. Hopefully, we will see um, a change to it. But um, thank you uh, to the presenters, uh, Chris and Martin. Thank you for listening.